All right, it's about once a day, or at least once every other day, on the Facebook groups that I'm a part of, that I see this same question. What in the world is the two different numbers, right there by the battery range, so right here by the battery range, there are two different numbers. So I have a lot of questions that, that show up. It's like, what in the world does it mean to have 229 and 69? So there is a simple, simple answer to this. So the top one where you see the 229 that is how much range they are estimating is left on the battery. The bottom one is how many miles you have until you get to your destination that you have put in. Now, some of you may say, wait a second, I didn't even put in the destination. And this happened to me the very first time that it did too. I was just like, I didn't enter in any destination. So let me show you over here. So again, the top one is the battery, the bottom one, is how far you have towards your destination. And sometimes it'll be flip-flop. Sometimes uh, it'll show you that you have uh, further to go than what your battery will allow. And if you look over here, there's nothing. There's nothing on, uh, but this is CarPlay. So what this ties to is the range on navigation within your Ford system. So sometimes there will be a address that will get entered in somehow. I had it pop up on accident for me. But yeah, basically wherever you wanna go, if you wanna just hit that right there, then let's just say we wanted to go to Denver. Oh, we are already going to Denver. Let's say we wanted to go to Detroit from here. And then we'll replace trip. It's taking a little bit longer. All right. Now, if you see on here, this actually shows you how far you can go. Really what that circle is, that's how far you can actually go before you run out of battery. Continue one quarter mile on Mesa Road, then make a slight left turn. Now, if you notice, this has changed. It's still 229, but this is now 151. And what that's telling me now is there's not a flag there anymore. If you notice, it's actually a little charging looking thing. That's how far it's gonna be until I actually get to the next charging station. That's if I follow Ford's uh, charging thing. And if you want to change it again, you could just come in here and go to a new destination. I'm in Colorado Springs, so let's go to let's go to Pueblo. Let's go to Pueblo West. 38 miles, replace trip. There we go. Continue one quarter mile on Mesa Road, then make a slight left turn. And there we go. All right, so then it gives you just the information. This is if you're gonna use that, and we'll come back over here. Again, it is 229 miles is what I say my range is, and it's 50 miles, and again, now there's a destination flag up there, so it means I don't need to charge before I actually get there. So if you see that on there, and you want to get rid of it, because it's bugging you, then all you have to do is come over here again to navigation after you hit home. And then you just come here and click this X and it'll cancel whatever route is on there and it will get back to exactly uh, what you're used to seeing. So <laughs> anyways, there it is. There's an answer to your question. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, I don't really recommend right now using Ford's navigation. I love Apple Maps. It's just a little bit more intuitive. Uh, so most of the destinations that whenever I go somewhere, whenever I travel, I'm using Apple Maps. So anyways, there you have it. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions uh, in the comments there, and uh, I'll try to do a video about it. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next video.